first of all, so dark web markets, one of the interesting things I find about them is they're not typically there. You have some specialized dark web markets, like my understanding is Russian market specializes in the sale of infected devices, but a lot of the major markets actually don't really specialize, right? They're kind of like these man in the middle organizations. So you have the, the marketplace, which deals with the vendors who are selling drugs or guns or cybercrime or TTPs or uh, vulnerability information, kind of a broad spectrum of things. And then you have the buyers. And so the, the marketplace acts as kind of like this trusted middleman who's uh, making it, you know, doing escrow and uh, trying to make sure that the uh, vendors can sell their goods and get paid for them and that everything works kind of seamlessly. Um, and where Telegram is so different is that you have all of these like thousands of individual channels, many of which it's kind of like direct to consumer, right? You're, you're bypassing the middleman and selling direct, which brings all sorts of problems. Yeah, the historic other... yeah historically speaking, we saw more of those fractional, more specialized markets, but we see them regrouping or getting back into the major one. So we see a trend of like having a few, fewer markets, but of more importance of the dark web than before, where we have like more specialized markets as you described, um, as well as we see as the same thing for forums. So we talk about forums of like, usually markets have their own forums to enable a discussion related to, to the market. What we see as well is ha like all those markets having a single channel uh, where they can usually, um, provide some updates on the website, announce uh, announcement, uh, sometime even like new goods that are on sales. On, on the, so they, they use as well the Telegram as a feed of information as well as another way of bringing people back to the market. What we see here is since Telegram, the way it, it, it's designed, it's more like channel per interest. So that allow to really kind of a tailored like depending on the interest of the buyer or the seller, like having a more like tailored approach uh, to send the relevant information and then bring the people back to the market where at, at the right place. So basically facilitating browsing of like all the available goods in the market through the different Telegram channels. Yeah, so that's a, that's a really interesting point you made there, right? Is this isn't a one-to-one, -one. it's not dark web or telegram or clear web, right? I was uh, speaking with one of our researchers earlier and one of the points he made is, so you had raid forums, which got taken down, it became breach forums. And then breach forums recently, the, like the leader was arrested. And so the, the number two, you know, so, and the, the website went down too, is my understanding. And so the number two of breach forums went to telegram and told everybody like, don't worry, I'm setting something new up. Um, so it's like this, it's almost like this fail safe way to communicate with other threat actors and other, you know, buyers and sellers from the marketplaces. It's yes. almost a backup of the dark web. Mm -hmm. um, so and, yeah, it, it's basically used to, to create an And we see a lot of like, there's a lot of disruption on the dark web market. That's right now we see a lot of, of denial of service attacks on the different major market. And they use Telegram to publicize like, hey, we moved there, we moved there, this isn't over, this isn't over. So really see kind of a side channel to send uh, information that is more re reliable than the traditional forums or discussion uh, services on top.